Talkside 2K7, aka Sun Sky Caesar. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. I know I didn't think I'd make a video on this. Like, really, I, I never, never think I'd make a video on this one. But I have to because I just got hit with the mother of all big news that are happening in um, this. I found this out a little bit while I was at work. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Cartoon Network, the Cartoon Network that we all grew up grew up and, and enjoyed, is officially dead. Yes, yes, indeed you do. Yes, Cartoon Network is dead, and, well, it had a good run. It just finished celebrating its 30th birthday, and... And yours truly, who grew up during the 90s, I was a 90s kid. Was born in 86, grew up during the 90s. Good time. This hurts. This really, really, really hurts. It, re it really does because it's... I mean... Fuck, man. Just... Fuck. Yeah, so as you may know, David Zaslav, the the own the uh, Discovery, the Warner Brothers Discovery uh, CEO, he managed to come in and did what he always do. Did well, not did what he did. Then did what he had to do, because you know decide to ruin, not ruin, uh, decide to. Um, decides to try to manage to cut off anything that's necessary to help Warner Brothers get out of debt. Unfortunately, Cartoon Network Studios has been shut down. I'm reading this from Cartoon Brew. Cartoon Network Studios, as you know it, is gone thanks to David Sostom. Warner Brothers TV Group, WBTVG, laid off 82 scripted unscripted and animated employees on Tuesday and will not fill 43 more vacants, vacant positions. The 125 positions represented 26% of the company's workforce across those units. However, the layoffs, which were generally expected, don't tell the whole story of what's going on at Warner Brothers Discovery Animation Unit. In fact, there, is, there was even more concern Consequential announcing yesterday that fundamentally alters the structure of Cartoon Network Studios going forward and will have a far reaching impact on the projects that it produced. The company calls its part calls a part of its strategic overnight. In a company wide memo, Chairman Channing Dunning told staff that the company plans to fulfill consolidated its TV animation divisions, merging Warner Brothers Animation, WBA, and Cartoon Network Studios, CNS. Going forward, Sam Register will continue as head of WB, the WBA and CNS, as well as Hanna Barbera Studios Europe, the latter of which will continue to operate independently from the other two. According to the member, all three labels will continue to exist, or perhaps more in name than in action. Both development and production at WBA and CNS will now be merged, extending on the cross studio teams that were already in place for programming, casting, legal, and business affairs and artist releases. This means that Cartoon Network Studios no longer have any independent say on either creative or operation, operational matters, something that has never been happened before this exists. This also sees an ominous sign for the future of, of the new and original Cartoon Network of Mason. WBA has traditionally been a much more catalog slash IP driven studio, while CNS has been the studio that puts the out original series and specials that occasionally become touchstones to generate some view. Over the last decade, CNS produced shows such as Uncle Grandpa, Steven Universe, Clarence, Over the Cast Over the Garden Wall, We Bear Bears, Craig in the Creek, Summer Camp Autumn, Infinity Chain, and Primal, just to name a few. There's also Adventure there's also Adventure Time and regular show. It's anything. Conversely, WBA's lineup was has been focused on categorical, categorical characters, including titles such as Bat Wheels, Bugs Bunny Builders, Aquaman, King of Atlantis, Teen Titans Go, Ugh, Jellystone. I actually like Jellystone. The Animaniacs, the Looney Tunes cartoons, 
Harley Quinn, Justice League Action, and the Tom and Jerry Show. I actually like the, the Tom and Jerry Show. Under Boss Davis, David Zassan, Warner Brothers Discovery has expressed a desire to focus more heavily on IPs across all its businesses. So now, the CNS has to share development and production of resources with WBA. In several of the rats in the future in which the studio's original animation output can match what has been in the past. As long as Zassan is king, Cartoon Network Studios is likely to sit more strongly towards reboots of its existing catalog as as it is currently doing with the Powerpuff Girls then launching a new IP the, the Powerpuff Girls one is being handled by Craig McCracken the series creator the significance of the significance of yesterday news may and I have not fully seen in for a lot of animation fans but those in the business immediately understood the magnitude of the news and its impact on Cartoon Network Studios and by extending Cartoon Network's future Ryan Miller, former former general manager of Cartoon Network Studios and a key figurehead of the company for 21 years, tweeted a quote from Variety Report and a grim two-word summary of what he thinks it means for the future of Cartoon Network Studios. Rest in peace, CNS. Uh, CNS. Under the new setup, kids and family series developed by both WBA and CNS will be led by Audrey Deli, adult animated animation development by Peter Garvin, and animation for long form series developed by Sam Permanent, with Bobby Page leading the main production. And Adams will continue as executive VP and general manager. So, yeah, that's something to digest a lot from, and uh, I know a lot of people will be upset about it, as they would. But let's get one thing perfectly clear, and this is just my two cents. You can tell Cartoon Network was, a, was very near and dear to my heart. I still have fond memories of it, and I love all its cartoons. But over the past few year, past few years, years it's been going down in quality. So with this happen, it's kind of double as so. I mean, I'll miss the shows a month, but you know. It's gonna be. It's. It's. Uh, Cartoon Network really did themselves. Did themselves no favors. Instead of them actually making new IPs and everything, they decided to focus on. Focus on a lot of unnecessary stuff that's not be human. Not be human of a. Of a network. A, a 24/7 uh, cart. Uh, network for cartoons. Like, for example, they tried the live action uh, route one time. <sighs> and then, and then they tried, and then there was that one, it's one thing where they had, like, big, had big action shows. But then they decided to get rid of the action shows because in their minds, it's not making them money. Which is another reason why, we, why and here are some of the main action shows that was canceled. Cancel because they were not making money or they didn't get there was no toy sell line to it. Megas Megas XL XLR Symbionic Titan He Man Masters of the uh, Masters of the Universe Thundercats 2011 Just to name a few. I mean yeah we got I mean yeah there was we got ha Samurai Jack and I'm glad we finished the series with um with the final season being on Adult Swim and everything, but man, this is a big gut punch to end all gut punches, to be perfectly honest. Like I said, and also, Cartoon Network was also was also the place where I where where they introduced Toonami, where I actually got introduced to anime. And ever since then, I've been I've been a big fan of a big fan of anime. On Fox Kids, I watched. Uh, Samurai Pizza Cats and uh, believe it or not, One Piece. The One Piece stuff for uh, the four kids stuff for One Piece was. Yeah, we never talk about four kids. Now, do you get one? Yeah, that's cool. But this, it like that. But yeah, I'm not too surprised about that one. But I think the problem, and I think the other problem is. Is that well? You know, when it come, they decided to get rid of shows that people love, and then keep, and they kept on putting on uh, shows that people don't like. I.e., canceling OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes, a show that I fell in love with. 
to make room for T Titans Go. Oh my god, I hate that show. And uh, I mean, it also fucked up the end, the um, the whole final season, the final five episodes of of uh, regular show. Here's the skinny. Three years ago, regular show was in its final season. All right, everything. Okay, you get that? Okay. Instead of putting the five episodes on mo on that Monday, they put three episodes, th the final three episodes, the three of the final five episodes on a Monday. What you are asking? Well, what happened to the first two of the final three? It was put on a Saturday, and they didn't announce it. I have to find this out by looking this on uh, looking this shit up on. Of the, on my TV guy, it was like, why you put the final two, the first two of the final five episodes on here on Saturday and didn't announce it? And then on Monday, they was doing a Teen Titans Go, a fucking Teen Titans Go marathon, like random episodes plus the week one events. Then he saw two animated movies. I th uh, one of those re uh, one of them was Shrek. The first one was Shrek. The second one was Rio. And then they put and then instead of putting on putting on like the Amazing World Gumball for one for one uh, season uh, for one hour, and then put the final uh, put the first two of the final three episodes on there. They decided to fill that time slot with a week with. A Teen Titans Go Island Adventure five day week long event. And then after that, they still the five three episodes of, of regular show. I think that's the problem with what's going on with Cartoon Network. And and even and, and and if you and if you look at the and back then when we looked at the schedule, every schedule on Cartoon Network it's filled with Teen Titans Go. It took up all the time slots in the after, in the after, in the, in the weekdays. And then, and when you, and you're hoping for a show you want to watch, it's been pushed on the Sunday. Everyone knows that nobody watches cartoons on Sundays. On on Sundays because Sunday, when everyone here think of Sundays, all they think about is let's say church and football. Especially during the NFL season. Sundays as a whole is a place where cartoons go to die. And the only reason why Cartoon Network is doing this is because it's putting Teen Titans Go on because they want to make Teen Titans Go their own to challenge SpongeBob SquarePants. Nickelodeon's, Nickelodeon's uh, show. The problem SpongeBob, what is original? Where Teen Titans go, no one likes it. My niece don't even like it. And trust me, every Teen Titans fan, like myself, we was waiting for the sixth season of the, of the OG Teen Titans. No, 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 no. They decided to do this shit because why not, right? Why the fuck not, right? And then, and oh, then, and then, and then, and then they got, and then they got political. It got, they, yeah, this happened right after the events of uh, <clears throat> the death of George Floyd, where they decided to go all the way and all the political stuff. I did a video about how, you know, Tom could have told us, told us about, you know, the whole thing about racism and all that other bullshit. Yeah, and then there's also the one where there's where the where the Crystal Gems did that whole um that whole unnecessary BS about about you know don't be racist. I still remember that one. I still remember that one thing with Gardner where a white kid managed to slap the hands, slice through um both a black kid and a white kid holding hands, and he was like, ha, you y'all can't do that, and he was like, why not? White people can't marry black people, and I'm like, this is my reaction to that when I heard that. Like, really? Like, 
on some real shit though. Really? I mean, ugh. yeah, it was really bad. It was really, really, really bad. So, yeah, it's really, it sucks that this happened. And also, I'm going to switch over here to my TV, so, you know, I'll be, I mean, let's take a look at, let's actually take a look at what Cartoon Network got cooking. If I can find the fucking remote, oh, there it is. <sighs> Okay, now I'm switching this to Cartoon Network right now. As currently, as you can see, as I'm seeing this right now, you probably can check it too if you got Cox or DirecTV. Uh, right now, it's 6.01, the time of this recording, and they're showing two, uh, they're doing a one hour block of, one hour block of The Amazing World of Gumball. Then at 7 o'clock, they're doing a one-hour block of Scooby-Doo and Guess Who. Wait, what? Daphne takes the rest of the gang to be her friend. Famous voiceover actor Frank Welker. Wait, Frank Welker got, got his own episode? Oh, snap. Oh, oh, oh. Blue, Fal Blue Falcon and, and Dynamite. Okay, I'm going to check that out. At 8 o'clock, it's, um, one full hour of Curse the Cowley Dog. Oh, boy. But, let's, let's switch back here. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, this is the, no, this is more like the normal weekday for, um, Cartoon Network right now. So, let's see. At 6 o'clock, it's the Amazing World of Gumball, one full hour. Then at 7, it's... Then one for our coca melon at, at for at seven. Lilo Barrack City Farm at eight at eight o'clock. Pippi Wonders at eight fifteen. Thomas and Tank. Thomas and Thomas and Friends at eight thirty. Mega Builders at nine a.m. Bugs Bugs Bunny Builders at nine thirty. One full hour of Thomas and Friends at one and ten. Mostly just the preschool stuff. Then at one, then at one and then at eleven it's Scooby Doo and Guess Who. At noon, Craig and the crew. At noon for um for one full hour, Craig and the Creek. And one two. Oh. Okay, one full hour of Teen Titans Go. Then at 2 p.m., The Amazing World of Gum. Oh, wait, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., it's two full hours of, of The Amazing World of Gumball. One full hour of Craig of the Creek. And one full hour of Teen Titans Go. One full hour of The Amazing World of Gumball. And because it is Scooby Month, it is Scooby Scooptober month. It's Friday, so they're showing a Scooby Doo movie, Trick or Treat Scooby Doo. And then after that, it's Teen Titans Go. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is what what's going on right now. It, it, I feel like if Cartoon Network doesn't know what they're doing with, with their shows. It. Oh right, Bat Wheels. Bat wheels, are you? Oh god. Okay, and on Saturday, and on Saturday, I started at 11:45. It's a T Titans Go Bat Wheels um marathon all the way to 9 p.m. See, and and that right there is the problem. That right there is the fucking problem, man. Just, oh my god. Oh my god. I swear. I swear. And, and of course, you probably got to say, well, what about Twitter? Well, the animation Twitter, Twitter is losing their collective shit. I mean, it's Twitter. What do you expect? 
Yes, they're upset about it because, you know, oh, I can't believe Cartoon Network, is, I can't believe David Zasov is doing this. They're, he's an evil son of a bitch. You're like, well, to be perfectly honest, in, my, in his defense, maybe, just maybe, if you didn't try to, if you didn't have to make a, sh had to make cringy ass shows, with that have to fit what kind of diversity checklist you want, this wouldn't have happened. This really wouldn't have happened. But oh my fucking gosh, oh my fucking gosh! It's hard to try to tell these people anything. They they act like oh everything is everything they make is all hunky dory and whatnot. But I guess it's another case of you know get woke go broke and also. Water Bunny is still in a lot of depth, so all Zalab do is cutting off a shit ton of dead fucking weight. So, what you want him to do? Not cut off? Stop doing what he was paid to do? Fuck no! And besides, here's the thing. Woke messaging doesn't work if it, if it affects the bottom line. And when it does, that shit needs to kick rocks. And here's an idea that I have to say about about this. If to any to any to to any business, you probably you who might be listening to this, I will have to say this. If you're going to hire someone, hire someone who isn't an activist, has pronouns in their have pronouns in their Twitter feed. Uses Twitter to be to act like to act like a goddamn moron. Have have seventy eight have have so many goddamn genders to count. Cause let's be fucking real here. When here here last time I checked, it's usually two genders, but we now we have seventy eight or whatever the fuck fuck numbers of genders we have to or be inclusive. That's it. Cause trust me. People are getting sick and tired of wokeness. People are getting sick and tired of the fucking message. Pretty much everyone with a functioning goddamn brain is getting really fucking tired, alright? What, what Zav Zav is doing, he's being paid to do what he has to do. You can't get mad at someone doing their fucking job. And maybe, just maybe, if the if Cartoon Network didn't put put out crappy products, crap, crappy shows like this, then they wouldn't be in the, then they wouldn't be in this fucking situation. Now would they? But like I said, this hurts me. This hurts me. This really hurts me because you know. I, I, I've been with this group since I was a kid. 1992. Let's see. 1992. 6, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, I'm 30, I'm fucking 35. I'll be 36 in a few days. In this month. I'll be 36 this month. In just a few days. And Cartoon Network could just die. They just celebrated their 30th birthday. And it's now going away. Same for Fucking same thing. And I'm not blaming D David Zasov on this. I'm not. Contrary to popular belief, I am fucking not. I'm blaming this, blaming everyone for this destruction of Cartoon Network. Cause y'all, cause instead of you get, cause thanks to you sons of bitches, now it's gone. And we'll be having to deal with another set of bullshit reboots. 
fucking reboots that have to be changed for the modern audience. And I think that's the problem right there with, with entertainment nowadays. That's the fucking problem with this inter with, inter with fucking entertainment. Cause modern audience tends to want tends to want everything to change so that everything can be so everyone don't can't enjoy it. But anywho, rest in peace. Recipes Cartoon Network, 1992 to 2022. Damn shame, damn shame. But if you, that's all I have to say. If you want to talk, if you want to talk about, if you want to talk more about this, or if you want to list your favorite, um, your favorite uh, Cartoon Network shows on here. Leave it in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to Cartoon Brew on this one. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss an update. Save your friends, save your neighbors, save your significant others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Todd's Guy, Series of Time Now. Thank you for watching this video. It really means a lot. I have to get this out there. Gotta rip this off like a band aid. And I will see you in the next one. Catch you later. Peace. R.I.P. Cartoon Network.